Sandy Hook is just past Staten Island. So it's about a 45 minute ferry ride. And we're walking to the 34th Street Ferry Terminal. We got off at Grand Central and then we're gonna be walking down 35th Ave so that way we can get to uh, the terminal. That's where they make uh, the microchips that they're implanting in everyone for uh, the sheep so they can track where they're going. So here is the view from the Sea Street Ferry. We got a nice view of Long Island City over there, Roosevelt Island, the UN building. Empire State Building and the Chrysler Building. need a wristband to come here and there's shuttle buses school buses over there that will take you to various beaches on the island so here is like a coast guard like base you can't go in here for obvious reasons there's a lot of abandoned buildings it kind of reminds me of Governor's Island a little bit. And look at that little fort back there. Wow. It's pretty cool. But I figure we got about eight or nine hours. We can uh, walk and go at our own pace. So there are a lot of restricted areas. We actually can't go inside here. There's like some rundown buildings. Apparently Hurricane Sandy destroyed a lot of this. Obviously can't go into the Coast Guard area. This is really cool. It definitely reminds me of something from exploring with Josh. It looks like an abandoned bunker of some sort. And it's got a lot of layers and little ladders and steps wow. yeah I definitely wouldn't want to go in there considering I only have sandals today and this place is really cool 
it's definitely a nice place to cycle if you like to bike. There's a lot of bikers. This is actually a bike path that you walk along this base. But there's so many different little rooms and alcoves. I wonder what this thing was actually used for. Probably for the Coast Guard or some sort of old naval base. Now, unfortunately, it is a shame that it is run down. This would be really cool to be some sort of museum to walk through. I would pay to go through this as a museum. That's for sure. Now the fence isn't very high. I am sure people hop this shit and have been in here. I'm sure people on YouTube have explored this place. Oh, okay. So, defending American Harbor. Sandy Hook was a fortified Sandy Hook has been fortified to defend New York's harbor for more than two centuries, first by the British Loyalists occupying Sandy Hook Lighthouse during the American Revolution, and then by the American troops who constructed a wooden palisade fort during the War of 1812. In the 1890s, the concrete gun batteries, which is this, were constructed to defend a long-range naval cannon. And years later, an anti-aircraft defense were added and the batteries remained operational through World War II. The Nike missile base was built here in the 50s and the final descendants of the coastal defense was built on Sandy Hook. So we can see we are actually right here. There's Fort Hancock, there's a bunch, Gunnison Beach, I guess that's a nude optional beach. We're gonna try to check out this area up here and the lighthouse. So we got some wires down there. And uh, so this defended America in World War II. Luckily, it probably was never needed, but amazing. So that's pretty cool. There is an observation deck over there. So you definitely don't want to come in here. Uh, you will be caught probably by the guards. some kind of cactuses growing in here and there's some kind of cherry blackberry looking thing there is poison ivy in these from what I heard from the park ranger so I will be staying on the sand because I have sandals and not shoes but uh -huh. We're gonna go explore so we can actually see the northern tip of the island. So we are getting to the northern most point of the island. It's starting to open up. We're getting to the beach. And as you can see, the water goes all the way back there when there was some high tide, maybe during Sandy. You can tell by all of these shells that are washed up here. And uh, 
It's really amazing. This is awesome. It's like a wildlife refuge. Beach. It is really amazing. The Manhattan skyline over there. Wow. I can already tell the camera is not going to do this place justice. But. It is so beautiful. There's so much sand. It's almost like a sand dune that's flat. And then you have these little pockets of water for the birds. And it's just peaceful, quiet. Nobody is really out here. A few people here, a few people there. It's just quiet. You can relax and go at your own pace. Definitely glad we chose to walk instead of taking that stupid bus because we can go through the island at our own pace, you know. And uh, if we have to come back next summer to check out that other beach towards Atlantic Highlands, then we will. But I think we might even have enough time for it. We got plenty of time. Just relax. There are a bunch of fishes washed up. Something about being next to the ocean that is so soothing, so relaxing, you know, scientifically, I think it's the sound that mesmerizes and calms you. The ocean is very calming, especially when you're on land. Let's see how cold it is. It's cold today, guys. Whew. So, uh, yeah. It's definitely relaxing. You know, like a day to day, especially living in New York City, things are very stressful. It's always go, go, go. Do this, do that, do this, do that. And you just come to the beach every once in a while to relax just be calm by the water it's something you can't put a price tag on and it's free there's so many free places you can come and relax like this but this is one of the most remote that I've been to and it's so peaceful like there's a couple people within a hundred feet of me but other than that we pretty much have this almost to ourselves you know, I can't hear what they're saying down there. I can't even hear their music playing. So, you can really relax here. There are a decent amount of fishermen here. And, uh, yeah, it's really cool. Really cool little bit. There are a bunch of jellyfish here that we saw at Long Beach. I mean, they're just all over too. There's a big horseshoe crab here.
place is really beautiful. And we're going to the hook part of Sandy Hook. Towards the end of the hook. And it's just amazing. Definitely really beautiful. With the sun coming out over there. I think we'll go to this little hook. Not the main hook. And then head back. See the other part of the island. There's a cool little fort bunker over there. I think that's some kind of radio. The town is really awesome with these old colonial style buildings. This one, his wing is hurt. Yeah. Here's a really big horseshoe crab. It's probably been here for quite some time. It almost feels like it's metal. You know, it's really tough. There's another one there, there, there. That's awesome. There's some kind of cockroach looking thing. Yeah, those are the ones that are fighting off the bait Wow. Are you gonna eat them? I, I'm gonna, I heard they're good. Here at the northernmost part of the island. And we're going to be continuing on the east side of the island, more towards the Atlantic. The undertow here is pretty crazy. You got to be careful because that definitely could put you out. And it's a cloudy day. It is September 5th, almost Labor Day. We're in like really the beaches the last possible weekend. We go to the beach. But it's still nice. It's relaxing. Even though I'm not really swimming beach kind of day. I'm still exploring and experiencing the area. We'll probably go for a dip when we get towards the beach area. Um, yeah. Even on a cloudy day on the beach, you can still have a lot of fun. And I'm having a lot of fun enjoying myself. So back there is the guarded beach. So you can swim in that little section over here. This way, we're walking towards Gunnard Beach. I think it's a nude beach, so we might not be able to film there can't even go to the beach without seeing advertisements That's pretty cool. I don't think this is operational. It's probably from World War II. They have this lock on it. 
and it looks painted over <laughs> but still great for a photo there's Gunnison Beach it is a nude beach so that's why I didn't film over there I don't really get the point of a nude beach but if that's your thing you know here you can go so we still got about four and a half hours so we're going through this little nature preserve it's on this wooden deck which is nice and uh, just a peaceful walk not really sure where this goes but I will let you know so far there's not really much to eat on this island uh, there's a couple of stands over by Gunner a couple of food trucks they have like acai bowls ice cream and smoothies but there's no real food they have some wraps and some croissants but other than that you can't get a burger no hot dogs you know there's no real food food just kind of snacks style houses but they all look boarded up it's a shame they should use these for something a lot of them are under repair Maybe they're going to repair this one. I don't know. They'll probably just leave it like that. Because it doesn't look like they're using any of these buildings. So they're just using it so it doesn't topple over. As you can see, they're empty and boarded up. It's a real shame. These gun turrets, cannons are pretty cool. Over there somewhere, probably there, is the Atlantic Highlands. That is the second stop that C Street takes you to. So we will check that out next summer. I'm not sure what's over there, but that will be in a future video. And as you can see here, the roof is all shot on these. But down here, that one actually has a new roof. I'm not sure if you can see here, but it's really bad. You can see that the floor or the ceiling between the second and third floor is completely rotted out. You can see the planks in between so this is pretty cool now we actually get to go into one of these batteries. Oh no, um, the jail for enemies would have been, what did they have the jail for the enemies? They did have it somewhere. Um, So this one, you don't even have to hop the fence. You can walk in over there. I don't think it's very safe for obvious reasons, but I'm sure people have ventured in there. This isn't the only thing that's erected on the beach.
Okay, so that's it YouTube. We walked two and a half miles in one direction. Pretty much just to see some buildings, a rocket there, and another rocket. Unfortunately, we cannot go in here.